How many times have you turned to shopping to make yourself feel better? It's quite common for people to go on a shopping spree when they are in emotional distress or facing anxiety issues. But when that phase passes, they end up with a maxed out credit card and a bunch of stuff neither needed nor used frequently. Well, you are not alone, as everyone can relate to the sheer joy of buying little things, especially when they feel blue. That's why shopping to make yourself feel better is called retail therapy. But a little retail therapy can easily turn into compulsive buying and the momentary joy could turn into long-term debt. Let's first understand why shopping feels so good. According to psychologists, shopping does make us feel better and has a lot of psychological and therapeutic value when done in moderation. This includes adding items to your shopping cart online. Even window shopping or online browsing can give you an emotional boost, but it can get out of hand too. According to psychologists, it is the simple anticipation of a reward or a treat that releases dopamine, often called the happy hormone. That is why people often add items to their cart and abandon it because they already feel relatively satisfied. Besides, shopping also stimulates our senses. Bright lights, colorful displays and the smell of something new create a sensory experience that removes us from our own reality. This experience helps in reducing anxiety. Research has shown that shopping decisions help us reinforce a sense of personal control over our environment. It can ease emotional distress or sadness and lead to some instant happiness. A 2014 study conducted by the University of Michigan has shown that buying things can be up to 40 times more effective at giving you a sense of control than not shopping. In this study, the people who actually made the purchase were also three times less sad than people who only browsed. This means if things are not going your way in life, then buying exactly what you want feels like a positive personal achievement. However, shopping can shift from being therapeutic to a problematic compulsive behavior when it becomes a person's go-to solution to deal with anxiety, stress or loss. Shopping addiction is called compulsive buying disorder or pathological buying. Studies show that compulsive buying behavior has reportedly increased with the evolution of online shopping. Compulsive buying has similarities to other impulse control disorders such as sex and gambling addictions. The high from compulsive shopping has often been compared to drug or alcohol addiction. According to psychologists, compulsive shoppers may also face blackout experiences that are similar to alcohol-related blackouts in which the buyer does not even remember making purchases. Think about what aspects of shopping make you happy. Is it the feeling of getting a reward? Try achieving the same feelings through something more worthwhile, like savings. Instead of rewarding yourself by buying something instantly with your credit card, try setting up saving goals and reward yourself for achieving your target. Remove temptations as much as possible. For instance, remove online shopping apps from your phones so that you do not get constant notifications. If there are alternative places to go, avoid malls or shopping districts. Instead of focusing on instantly making yourself feel better by shopping, try meditation, mindful eating and exercise to keep yourself occupied and healthy. These activities and habits will improve your mental and physical health in the long run. Explore the causes of your anxiety or emotional distress and try to resolve them. Look into your mind and attempt to find long-term solutions to stress triggers rather than seeking instant fixes. Invest in actual therapy to fix the root of your addictions and anxiety. Feel better and for more on health and fitness, tune into ShowFit.